Welcome back to Copper Star Precision, the channel dedicated to getting you more points at your competitive shooting matches. So we're continuing on with the Ruger Rimfire build. And the next thing I want to talk about is balance. Now that we have the scope mounted, uh, we still have to level the scope, but I want to talk about balance. And I have here on my tripod a bag, so this might be simulating a uh, tip of a tank trap or anything like that and we want the rifle to be balanced having a balanced rifle means that you need to put less input to level the gun than if the rifle could just sit here on its own so you're imparting less of your body on moving the rifle which then imparts could impart movement during the shooting process so as you can see here the rifle is clear check no magazine and we have everything on the rifle that we would be competing with. So scope, all of our fancy attachments. But as you can see, it'd be nice if the balance point was right in front of the mag well a few inches so that if you have a bag like this, that it would just sit there. And as you can see, the rifle is very rear heavy right now. So one solution, and especially because this has an M-lock handguard, is to add weights to the rifle. But how much weight do you need? And I've come up with a funny solution uh, before you go spending harder money on a weight kit. And there are plenty of different weight kits. There's MDT weights, there's gray ops weights, all kinds of different weights. But if you look at MDT's website, for example, each weight weighs about 0.37 pounds or 5.9 ounces. So what I've done is I've actually, I have a Ziploc bag and it's full of uh, sockets. <laughs> and it weighs out to 5.9 ounces. So we can use this as kind of a test to see how much weight we would need to balance the rifle. So the MDT weights, they take up two M-lock slots. So they would use two slots. Obviously the further out you go, the bigger the impact the weight will have on the rifle. Because if this is the sort of pivot point, something further away is going to have more of an impact on the balance than something close up. So knowing that it takes two M-lock slots, we can take one of these 5.9 ounce weights and we want to put it at sort of the center of gravity of those two slots so I just use a Ziploc bag with the sockets and a paper clip to kind of put it in between those two and I'll do the same for the other side so with that weight hanging off it's a little bit better but it's still not quite balanced so what if we go to two weight kits well I've got more sockets to add here but remember, we can't put weights on top of weights. Actually, you can if you buy the new Gray Ops weights because I realized that those are actually stackable, which is an interesting idea. But then you have, are you just gonna put like three weights wide at the fore end? It's gonna look really stupid. So let, what if we put two sets of weights? So two M-lock slots here and then the next two down. So if that's the case, if we have two and two, the center of gravity, instead of being in between these two, would be in between these two, because we'll have one weight here, one weight here, right in the middle will be the center of gravity of that block of weights. So let me prepare these bags and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've now made two new bags with even more sockets in them. And like I said, we're gonna go in between these two, which is where the center of the gravity of those weights would be. on here all right that's much better that's almost there just about very close so instead of going to three weights uh, which would just pretty much eat up the entire fore end let's try another thing all right so now with the same two pairs of weights that we had, I now have my bipod. And if you've seen some of my match videos with my open rifle, you notice that even on stages that don't require a bipod, I have it on there. And the reason for that is because that weight helps balance the rifle. And on my, my CZ, it's, it's very difficult to balance the rifle because there's not really a convenient place to put weights. And look at that. I mean, that is pretty much perfectly balanced. I mean, that's great. Yeah, I mean, notice how I'm not doing anything to the rifle. So I could come up to the rifle and I could almost free recoil it 
and it should stay pretty much put. So now we have a perfectly balanced rifle. It does mean that we have to use the bipod. Um, so if that is something that doesn't work for you, especially going in and out of the ladder stages, uh, you know, going in and out of small portholes, that might be difficult. Um, you know, maybe consider getting even more weights, but the weights are gonna have less and less of an effect as you go towards the, play, the play, pivot point where you're trying to balance the rifle. This bipod itself weighs uh, one pound, six ounces. So we'd have to add a significant more amount of weight uh, in order to get this balanced. But that is looking great. And let's see if we go maybe the long way. And you wanna try this with a variety of your bags as well. Yeah, so we are, we are well balanced there. So I'm gonna to have to order two pairs of weight kits if I wanna put weights to get this rifle balanced. But having it be able to balance like this is one of the best things you can do to a rifle in order to score more points, which is the whole point of this channel. And it's because you're not fighting the rifle at the balance point. Um, you're not pushing the rifle down because it's back heavy. And I mean, this works great. Now, it probably would be better with a little bit more weight because I am probably gonna take you along with the trigger cam up here, which is beyond the pivot point, and it's gonna add a little bit more weight in the back, but this is gonna get us really close. So with two pairs of MDT weights, we should be perfectly balanced. And just like that, through the magic of video editing, I have the two sets of MDT weights. They're on both sides of the handguard, and there we have a perfectly balanced rifle perfectly balanced as all things should be. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. If you're enjoying the series, I love hearing the comments. I try to respond to most of them. Really excited to get this thing on the range. I know we haven't done any of the accuracy testing or anything like that, but setting up the rifle for success is definitely the first stage. Um, and now we have to find out, does it shoot? So stick around, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, score more points.